Have you been a victim of narcissistic abuse? How about some narcissistic parents? If that sounds like you, then this is the video that you need to watch because today I'm going to help you break down the five early warning signs that you've attracted another narcissist into your life. As narcissistic abuse survivors, one of the hardest part of our recovery is learning how to spot other narcissists in the future. We learn to normalize and accept really toxic and abusive behaviors. So for us to heal, we have to learn how to spot these patterns early and keep those people out of our lives. So let's look at the five early warning signs that someone new in your life could be potentially narcissistic. Number one, a huge superiority complex. Even though there's no evidence to support it and they do nothing to actually prove it, this person believes that they're the greatest thing since sliced bread and they are better than everybody. Sometimes they'll just walk around putting everybody down just to prove it. Number two, hyper-personalization. This is all roads leading back to the narcissist. Everything's about them. Every single story has to be about them. Everything you do or say is about them. Everything that happens in the world is about them because narcissists are always scanning their environments and trying to look at how this reflects on them. Number three, performative activism. That's right. Communal narcissists and covert narcissists love to use performative activism to get attention on platforms just like this. They'll make a big grand stand and act like they're standing up for something really, really important and then scratch beneath the surface and you find out it was all a show for attention and validation. Number four, crisis, crisis, crisis. Look out for the person who is always in some sort of personal crisis that you have to rescue them from. This is how the covert narcissist traps the majority of their victims. And last but not least, number five, this is a big one for you girlies who keep attracting narcissists in your relationships, manipulation and control that's disguised as care. That's right. Narcissists have to isolate their victims in order to maintain total control. And how do most narcissists do this? Not by saying you're mine, stay away from everybody. No, no. They say, I love you so much. I care for you so much. They all treat you so bad. You should leave them all alone and only be with me because I'm the only person who will really protect you. What do you think? What are some of your biggest red flags that someone might be a narcissist? Let me know in the comments. Follow for more.